But if your summer is as busy as mine, then you're definitely gonna wanna know this super easy weeknight crock pot recipe. Can you believe I've never made cracked chicken before in the crock pot? I started making food videos because I wanted to be able to go back and reference what I was making. I went and looked. I looked up cracked chicken. I have no video for it. How have I never made cracked chicken before? This is me creating cracked chicken for you and for future me so that I can remember how to make the recipe because I've already forgotten. Did you know you're only supposed to latch them for transport? You're not supposed to cook with it latched. I hope that you know that. Today we're gonna be doing something with our crock pot I've really never done on here before and that's cook with frozen chicken. I'm gonna cook it on high and I guess we'll find out if it's gonna work. I just dropped a bunch of this. Use what's left in here. And I'll probably add in some other spices. Every once in a while, you're gonna drop your spices, but don't let that get you down, okay? You just get yourself right back up on there and you throw in some other spices and you just go with the flow. I added the rest of the ranch seasoning that I had, and then I thought to add this black cherry chipotle, really good flavor to chicken things. And of course I wanted chicken stock, but all I have left was beef stock. So, you know, you do you. It's a crock pot, so you can cook it on high for four hours or on low for six to eight. And today, since I'm doing frozen chicken, I'm just gonna go with five and we will see where that gets us. It's very hard to mess up the timing in a crock pot which is why I love it so much. Ooh, that reminds me. I have pickle juice that I pickled some jalapenos in. Add that to our crock pot. Just a little bit of that. You know me and my pickle juice. That's where it's at. All right, well, now I'm gonna go because I got a lot of summer activities to do, so. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, listen, I have a very little voiceover and a lot to say. I shredded the chicken and then I added in some cheese. I wanted to add a yellow cheese, but all I had was pepper jack. I also wanted to add in bacon and green onions, but I did not have them. I know, it was very sad. I did, however, add a pickle to this, but I didn't film it. Just know the pickle gave it the crunch that it needed. We spent the entire day at the park, so I'm so thankful when I got home, this sandwich was ready. If you want to see how our park day and all of our adventures go, check out my Instagram.